ますよ、皆さん。Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. As you know, Patriot batteries from Germany, the Netherlands, and the United States are now only days away from becoming oper operational in Turkey. Uh, so we thought it would be timely to have a technical briefing today uh, to explain the sequence of events uh, that will eventually see NATO take control of these defensive batteries to help protect. Turkey's population and territory. Let me just remind you briefly that in response to Turkey's request, NATO defense ministers decided on the 4th of December last year to augment Turkey's air defense capabilities in order to defend the population and territory of Turkey and to contribute to the de-escalation of the crisis along the alliance's border. The deployment of the Patriots will be defensive only but it sends a very strong signal of allied solidarity. I'm very happy uh, to introduce to you our briefer from SHAPE, Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe, Brigadier Gary Deakin, uh, who's the director of the Strategic Operations Center at SHAPE, uh, who will take us through this NATO effort uh, and explain how the batteries will be brought under NATO command and control uh, in the coming weeks. The Brigadier will speak on the record, uh, and if you have any specific technical questions on the systems, uh, the Brigadier will explain uh, any arrangements we have. We've got some staff officers uh, on hand who will be able to help with answers on background after this briefing is over. Brigadier. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Awana. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, if I can just begin with a little bit more detail on, on myself. I'm obviously a British Army officer, and I'm employed um, down in um, um, Allied Command Operations, uh, coordinating operations at the strategic level. Um, so when the strategic direction came from, uh, from the NAC to Sakur to, uh, to, to deploy uh, assets to augment Turkey air defence, then the, the task came to, to my organisation to, 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 to make the plan. I've got a number of experts who are with me. There are three officers in the front row here who... Um, uh, who, are, who are absolute technical experts on the detail of, of the systems. And so afterwards, there's an opportunity to, uh, where there's a really difficult question that I can't, can't answer, then they're, they're ready to, uh, to, to, to help out. Uh, and my aim will be to really tell you the story as we see it right now, um, uh, where we've come from and where we are at the moment, and then where we see this uh, augmentation of Turkey's air defence uh, uh, going to. Uh, and uh, currently, it's all uh, uh, going according to plan, which is, uh, which is really, really ex excellent news from, from our perspective. Um, f firstly, um, some, some context. The, um, the deployment is part of a plan that we already have. We have a standing defence plan for the air, air policing uh, 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 of NATO. And so this is not, uh, uh, this is not anything spe spectacularly new for us. The augmentation of Turkey's already robust air defence was, was an extra, it was within a framework of, of, of business that we already do. We've also done this before, uh, and indeed the Netherlands deployed to support Turkey's air defence in 1991 and 2003. So, it, so it's, not, it was, it's not new, and uh, um, in that way we've been able to, to carry out this, uh, this, this, this mission quickly to uh, provide support to the ally uh, as, as, as requested. <clears throat> now we've... Um, when the strategic direction uh, was given to us uh, uh, at the beginning of December after the foreign ministers' meeting, um, Sakur immediately uh, um, uh, set about generating the forces required, and uh, we were very fortunate to have uh, Germany, Netherlands, and the US offer uh, uh, Patriot batteries uh, to, to deploy uh, uh, as soon as possible to, to Turkey to, to provide this extra support. And we also um, um, stood up the NATO communications agencies to provide the uh, CIS, the Communications Information System support to the, to, to the Patriots so they could plug in to the NATO uh, command and control network. So the mobilization commenced uh, almost as soon as we got the, uh, the, di the direction. And you will have observed that the, the US were the first to deploy assets into theatre uh, by air uh, into Inchilik, which we know as the uh, um, air point of disembarkation. And their initial package arrived uh, at, at the beginning of January. And then the Netherlands and uh, Germany uh, sailed their, um, uh, their assets uh, from ports in, in, in Northern Europe 
um, some two, two weeks ago now, and as you'll be probably tracking today, they've arrived now in uh, Eskenderin in Turkey, uh, are, are unloading and unloaded and are moving out to their, um, uh, to their positions. Uh, we, we expect to, uh, <coughs> to have an initial operating capability uh, this weekend. Uh, that's what we're aiming at, uh, and so it'll be confirmed at the weekend, but we're aiming for an initial operating capability this weekend. What do I mean by initial operating capability? This is where we'll have the, uh, the ability, uh, NATO will have the ability to defend some aspects of the, of, of the population of what we're going to actually cover in the big picture. The first, the first units will arrive on station, they will plug into the NATO command and control network, and they will be then ready to defend the population. Uh, and so that's, that's what we're calling initial operating capability. Uh, the full capability we expect uh, to deliver, we're aiming to deliver at the end of the month. Um, that's, that's, our, that's our aim. And that's when we'll have all the Patriots in, uh, in and complete, all the uh, sustainment mechanisms in, and the whole organization plugged into the NATO CIS, coordinated with uh, uh, Turkey's air defense to provide the support the NATO support to Turkey, to Turkey as requested. And currently, uh, all that is, uh, is on track. And so the, um, um, the Netherlands are going to deploy to Adana. Uh, the, the Germans are going to deploy to Karaman Maras. Apologies for the, for the mispronunciation. And the uh, US are going to uh, deploy to Gaziantep. And those locations were decided in close coordination with, the, uh, with, the, with, the, with our Turkish allies based on um, the size of the population, uh, how we could get the equipment to get the best effect. Uh, a number of factors were, were, were considered to, to get the best deployment options with the resources available from the nations that, 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 that made the offers uh, in this case. So it's, uh, it was a ve very um, detailed process in close collaboration with our allies to, to get the right uh, lay down uh, of, of, of the forces that are, uh, that are, that are deploying. We, we estimate that once it's in place at those locations, that we will provide protection uh, against missiles um, of, 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 for up to 3.5 million people is, is our current, current assessment. So 3.5 million Turkish people under the protection of, uh, of, of, um, of this missile defence uh, capability in support of Turkey's, uh, Turkey's air, air defence. And I'd also emphasise again, I mentioned a couple of minutes ago about the, uh, the CIS aspects, um, lots of nations involved in that. There will be NATO detachments at each location providing the communication support. Um, so really, so a lot of nations involved, not just those from the, the, the contributing nations. And they'll provide that support to enable the command and control uh, of the Patriots. So <clears throat> that's where we are. Uh, that's, where we're, that's where we are right now. We're just uh, heading towards our initial operating capability, aiming to have the whole thing set up uh, by the end of the month. Now, let me just briefly, I think, um, explain the, the, the capabilities of the system. So you can then uh, come back with some, some, some questions. So a, a Patriot battery is, has got four, four main elements. Um, it's a multifunction radar, um, which, which is performs search identification and tracks potential targets. It's an air engagement control station. And this is the only manned piece of equipment in the battery. Um, and its, it, its responsibility is to is to make sure all the other systems are working and that the identification and engagement of targets is, is correct and in line with, uh, with the procedures. Um, and the Patriot operators sit in this uh, station and, and they're able to terminate an engagement and control the engagement uh, 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 as required. The battery then has a number of launchers um, and this can be between four and six depending on, depending on the mission and depending on which nation is, is made the contribution. And then each missile, uh, each launcher has a number of missiles. Um, and again, depending on the nation, but up to 16, with a variety of different types of missiles. Uh, in this case, all focused on destroying targets which are missiles. Uh, that is the, uh, the way that this, is, uh, this has been um, uh, put, put together in this, in this mission's case. That, so those batteries, uh, two in each location, as I've just described, uh, all connected together, so all six are together, and they're then connected directly to Air Command Rammstein uh, in Germany. That's the operational commander, uh, General Breedlove, uh, and they, they, they're plugged into a, a, a command and control center there. And that command and control center is also has situational awareness of 
of what is happening in the region in terms of um, missile firings or, 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 or early warning. So we're able to identify when, when there's a, 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 some sort of missile fired that alerts the, uh, the Patriot batteries, and then they can then observe the arcs that they've got in their azimuth and react accordingly if a missile is a threat to the population in that particular area that they're, that they're deployed to. <clears throat> I think another point I just wish to really stress, which is really important, is the command and control goes to Ramstein, but the, there's a very piece of detailed coordination into what we call the Combined Air and Operations Centre, which is in, es um, in Eskisir uh, in Turkey. And it's there that the coordination uh, is carried out with all the air that's going on. So to make sure that there's no risk of, of uh, any accident, so that it's all very carefully controlled uh, and coordinated, so the so the airspace is managed correctly. And, and again, this is as I said at the beginning, this is this is normal business for us. This, there's nothing new here. Um, we're used to this, and it's, it's there are procedures that are in place, and it will be correctly co controlled and coordinated to make sure that there is no uh, uh, no risk of, uh, of, of, of 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 any of any sort of accident. Okay, um, I think that sort of covers the key points in terms of. The lay down, I think hopefully I've described that when it comes to it, that the whole thing is set up and ready and um, that, that we'll, we'll be ready, working, in a court, working very, very closely to our Turkish allies uh, in terms of the augmenting their air defence to provide that defence to 3.5 million, uh, million people. And should, it, should, should there be uh, an alert on the early warning system, then that will go to the Patriots and the Patriots uh, from the nations will be ready to, uh, to, 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 to intercept and defend uh, as required. And we're expecting the initial capability this weekend, that's what we're aiming at, and then we're aiming for the full capability um, by, by, by the end of the month. And our current plans, and from my perspective, sitting in operations, uh, Admiral Stavridis is op operations centre down in shape, uh, we're, we're, we're sort of initially planning that this will probably last for a year at least, and that's our, our commitment. Uh, that's what nations have said that they're prepared to commit to. Of course, they'll be decisions that may reduce that or extend it, but from our planning perspective, we're, uh, we're, we're planning for, a, for a, to sustain this mission uh, as required to augment uh, 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 Turkey's uh, air defence. Um, if I can just uh, clarify one really important point, and that is that we're very closely integrated with, our, with the Turkish allies in terms of the, the, the chain of command at all levels. So we have a very close relationship um, through each level of, uh, of, of command from the battery and, and what I mean by that is the Patriot Battery is located in an area with a Turkish military commander who's going to uh, provide him with some local support, etc., uh, all the way then through to the um, coordination center in the Kaok. And then uh, there are Turkish uh, liaison officers who have gone to Air Ramstein, and Air Ramstein has put uh, liaison officers into the, uh, into the Turkish uh, uh, chain of command. And, and in my own organization, in Down in Mons, uh, I also have uh, um, uh, uh, liaison officers who have come from the Turkish general staff to make sure that we've absolutely got the uh, the integration correct uh, through 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 all through all the different uh, through all the different levels, I think I've hopefully said enough, painted a little bit of a picture of what it looks like, where we are, and where we're going. I'm, I, I now stand ready to answer ask any questions, and I said I've got a team to, to help. <laughs>